All right, your next comic's coming all the way from Indianapolis. She's hilarious. She's been all over the Midwest. Put your, put your hands together for Laura Cord. Hello, everyone. Merry, happy, everything that we've got coming up soon. Like you said, my name is Laura, but typically people stop paying attention about halfway through, so most of the time I'm Lauren. <laughs> I'm also known by strangers as that chick over there with the most aggressive resting bitch face they've ever seen. And I know every woman with a face likes to claim that they have RBF, but I've got it so bad that women tell me to smile. <laughs> I've also got RBF so bad that it's spreading to the rest of my body. Because lately, I've been waking up in the mornings with my arms crossed. <laughs> so that means that now, in my most restful and relaxed portion of my life, I look like I'm waiting to speak to the manager. <laughs> So, I've been going to the gym consistently for years now, and I have not lost any weight, and I have not turned this F-150 into a dump truck. <laughs> but what has happened is now I am so okay with having camel toe. <laughs> and it is such a weight lifted off of my shoulders too, because ever since I just mentioned it, so many of you just peeked at my crotch. <laughs> and even though you can't really see it right now, I wouldn't even care if I had more than 10 toes. It's fine. And I don't even waste my time picking the wedgie anymore. I just, I just turn it into a fun little game. Like, whenever I can feel myself fully sliced, <laughs> I will stare deeply into the eyes of anyone passing me by and watch them squirm while they try not to make eye contact with it. And if they look, I win. And I go to Planet Fitness, so I never lose. And honestly, I just want to give like a huge shout out to the designer of women's gym clothes for helping men find the clit. <laughs> So, lately, I've been trying to wrap my mind around anal. Still not gonna wrap my ass around it. I mean, I just told you guys, I'm in the gym like every day trying to build a booty and the goal is to make anal impossible. So yeah, trying to understand the need because if you were born with a biologically female butthole, there's no point. Like, absolutely no point. And to all the girlies out there who claim to enjoy anal sex, like, how'd your favorite football team do? <laughs> we don't need to pretend to like these things, and you're kind of ruining it for the rest of us. <laughs> so yeah, trying to understand, like, why is it like life or death for these straight men to get to dip their dick into last night's dinner? <laughs> But I think I have it figured out because on a daily basis, men are turds. And anal is just role playing as a turd. So it's like your final evolution, you know? It's like leveling up a Pokemon. You can never become War Turtle unless your Squirtle gets some shit stain experience points. <laughs> I get it. Now, I can sense that I might be losing a little respect from some of the men in the room. So, before I get out of here, I just want to clarify that I'm not a prude, but I'm not going to let just anybody get up my button around the corner. So, <laughs> if somebody puts a ring on it, I'll put a ring on it. <laughs> and that is all from me, guys. Thank you so much. One more time for Laura Cord, everybody.